Okay, this is my second time around listening to it because, like, I couldn't really comprehend it all into words the first time I listened to it, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so I just finished Is This What Love Is for the second time around. Beautiful song, I love it. Her vocals are really good at that, like, ah, you know, I can't, okay, I can't. It's like the light, like flowy. I don't know how to describe it, it's just beautiful. I love that song, I love the beat, I love all of it. I'm not a music person, you know, I don't know the vocabulary, but beautiful song. Takes Me Back Home is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever listened to. I feel like her vocals throughout this kind of feel like one of Billie Eilish's earlier music. That like high pitched, oh, it's beautiful, I love it, especially at the start. With the noise and stuff, it's not just all about the vocals, you know, it's a lot about everything else that's going on and I love it. Thank you for this song. Thank you for this album. Praise the Lord. Isotope, can we, can we vote for this song to be the new Kahoot thing? Oh, it's, it's very jazzy and I actually love that. I love it when artists put in the, just the little, in the middle song. It's just like anywhere, it's just the small piece that makes the album a little bit different than just, you know, songs on songs on songs. I think it's really cool to have a bit of diversity in there. The song definitely sounds like their other songs more and I love it. Amazing, as always. It's basically all I have to say about that one. Next one. We're taking the headphones off for this one. Okay. I have never like heard William Gow singing. When I tell you I was gobsmacked. I wanted to cry immediately. It was such a beautiful song. And the lyrics like really kind of resonated with me. I don't really know why. Watch me say this and it's about like turning into an alcoholic or something. <gasps> the start where like it was building up oh i felt like i was being lifted up you know or like the world was ending but like in a really amazing way you know like, this is all the apocalypse but like oh. just felt like he was singing right next to me you know what i mean it fading into dot 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 and like faded in so beautifully beautiful i don't know what to say apart from these people, they have a way with instruments that should scare us. Next one. <sighs> they really outdid themselves with that last one. It was freaking beautiful. Just like every other song in this album. Oh my god! I just don't even know how to describe this. I need it. Let me just score it. Scoring this. <laughs> That's how I feel. Um, I loved in the last um, song, Tell Me Lies. It felt like someone was having like a big epiphany in like a movie or something. I don't know. It was gorgeous. And then it got up to like that fun like part. <laughs> 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 yeah. It sounds like someone just cried and then those tears like made a song. William Gow and Olivia Hardy. Where's your project? Thank you for blessing my ears. Bye.